Gemini, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 15th to the 21st of August 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Alright, so Gemini. Overall, Nine of Pentacles. Claiming some sort of independence here, whether this is around love, around work, or around home, <coughs> there is that independence there. Success, that is there for the taking. Brilliant. Past energies, Princess of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. If you're coming out of this heartbreak and the stress and sleepless nights to claim that success, yes, kudos to you, way to go. Okay, third party situation that you have had to deal with in the past, again, it may be around love, around home, around work, outside interference. And especially with this Princess of Pentacles, usually an offer being made, teamwork, partnership, collaboration, but I feel like this is that third party situation. That is the third party in the past that has been coming in with some kind of offer. So it doesn't have to be in a negative way, but very well possibly um, had negative connotations in the past with that heartbreak that you have with the Three of Swords there. So coming to your present energies, Five of Wands, the Lovers, Nine of Cups. There's love there for the taking. I always say take it with both hands and run with it. Somebody's not happy that you're moving forward here with love. Soulmate, Twin Flame, could be dealing with another Gemini, your own energy. Somebody significant. This may be an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new, a work in progress. But there is a bit of jealousy involved around this. A bit of um, conflict, a bit of drama. So, future energies, Gemini, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands, Five of Swords. And I feel like you do actually see the bigger picture for what it really is, something for what it really is, someone for who they really are. Okay, it is a battle that you've been going through, being able to walk away from this battle with your head held high, claiming that independence, claiming that success right there. But it is a whole different approach than what you would usually take towards a situation, towards a battle, continuous battle that you've had to be dealing with. But I feel like some clarity is made here and things do start to pick up from here when you do take action to um, remedy the situation at hand. Wow, so Gemini, let's clarify everything, see what's going on. Starting with the Nine of Pentacles overall for the week. Princess of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Devil. Negative toxic energy, unhealthy energy here that you feel bound and chained to, waiting for an apology. I feel this is linked to what has been going on back here in the past, but it's also an apology that may never arrive. And it is just refocusing to see this whole brand new chapter that's about to begin, where you are heading to with this new journey. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. So past energies, Gemini, Princess of Pentacles. You get the lovers, King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There's love here in the past and there's success um, and abundance here. Okay, with this partnership, with this offer. So again, maybe an existing relationship. It may be brand new. It may be that work in progress, but soulmate twin flame. And that love is there for the taking. That could be the offer that's been put out there in the past to remedy this heartbreak um, with the Three of Swords. Oh, just about dropped them all with the Three of Swords. Yet the Nine of Swords, that flew out, and that's what we have next. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. The stress, the sleepless nights, the overthinking of things. It is just talking about focusing now on this whole new chapter, on this whole new beginning. Look at these, too many. 
Okay, to get your stability, commitment here. Could be a marriage proposal, moving in together, meeting somebody brand new. Maybe a job, maybe buying a home, but there is stability, there is commitment with this new chapter that does release these sleepless nights and um, that stress that's been sneaking in there around that third party. So we come to this Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, Three of Cups, the Empress, love that. There's that whole direct approach, clearing the air, pretty much look here, this is how it is. Dealing with that situation, that heartbreak, not putting up with that crap. There is something to celebrate here, the fact that you are able to move forward, I feel that relates to. Okay, but um, very aware of what has been going on back there in the past. No matter how distressing it may have been back then, Having that awareness was pretty major to, to you. So, present energies, Gemini, Five of Wands. You get the Four of Cups, Three of Wands, Temperance. Going with the flow, seeing that bigger picture we mentioned before, and seeing where this flow is actually taking you. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, not wanting to get caught up in all the drama, the jealousy, the, um, you know, I'm going to say theatrics around the fact that you are moving forward and somebody is not very pleased about it, is how I'll put that. You're very focused on something or someone here. It is just saying to explore these other options, see what else is going on around you. and feel that's where that Three of Wands comes in and you do have this whole aha moment always say that light bulb in your head moment right there do you have the lovers in the core of your reading your own energy as well three of swords ten of cups seven of swords being able to walk away from that deceptive energy from that third party situation that outside interference and meddling there is emotional support here sometimes it's not so obviously so but it's actually flooding in here when you have been going through a tough situation, making you realize what you can actually walk away from here. It is saying what's your back, so maybe a lot of gossip and a lot of backstabbing, especially as we go around that jealousy we just clarified with that five of wands, but also the emotional contentment and happiness that comes with being able to walk away from that kind of drama, as I mentioned before. To this nine of cups, yeah, the Five of Pentacles flew out there, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. And leaving that cold situation behind, this energy of feeling like you're left out in the cold, abandoned, ghosted, isolated here. Somebody may have walked away, no explanation at all, left you out in the cold like that, and it's like, what the hell happened here? It's been this burden that you've been carrying, but able to actually wrap that cycle up and bring that to its completion and get some more balance and alignment back into place. This may be inner balance, but it may be also this partnership that's involved with the lovers we just clarified. Equal give and take, rather than someone doing all the giving, someone else doing all the taking. This is like balancing this whole relationship out here. Love that. So Gemini, future energies, Queen of Swords. You have the Queen of Cups, the Sun Judgment. Love it. Proud of how far you've come emotionally through all of this turmoil to get to here, to get your happiness, to get your joy. There's a lot of things that seem to be falling into place now, warm, fuzzy feelings possibly around this love, but keeping an open mind. You go into the Three of Wands next, you've got that clarity. So keeping an open mind towards something, possibly even more so towards someone, someone significant. Always say, don't judge others. Don't let others judge you either, though. It does work both ways. Oh, that flew out for next. But um, that judgment is keeping an open mind here, possibly towards someone. Three of Wands. You get death. Two of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah, goodbye to the old, hello to the new. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here, being able to take this blindfold off to explore these paths carefully, to see that bigger picture we are just talking about. There is love here. 
existing relationship, somebody brand new, but either way, it is goodbye to the old, to the past, and welcoming in this whole new journey, what lies ahead. Brilliant. As you finish with the Five of Swords, I feel like something's bitten me on the shoulder. Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, love all that. Okay, quite content, just sitting back and watching what's going on around you. You are very focused, very hard working here, but you are quite content, not wanting to get caught up in all, all of this drama again. Okay, it is just sitting back, biding your time. But this Wheel of Fortune is actually pushing you forward to bigger and better things. Good luck, good fortune. Hopefully that is for all of you. And just letting that wheel push you forward naturally, not forcing the issue, but um, a lot of hard work in releasing this battle that you've been going through that's left you with your guard up, but quite content with um, moving forward at a manageable pace to your bigger and better. So the universe has to say, oh, itchy. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus here. Following your own heart, following your gut instinct, standing up for yourself, letting your voice be heard. Okay, teamwork, partnership, collaboration. Willing to step into the spotlight here, take the lead and show the way. And then showing the way, it is actually walking away from some sort of attachment back here in the past. We talked about that with death, goodbye to the old, and moving forward to the new, what this new journey holds in store for you there. So Gemini, we finish with Star Temple Oracle. Yet number 33, the Sacred Orchard, co-create. My abundance mindset attracts endless blessings. Absolutely, you're bigger and better with that Wheel of Fortune down here. Star words, positivity, attitude, prosperity. Be assured that a steady flow of abundance is available to you now. Asteropi reminds you that your thoughts are seeds that create either fruits or weeds in your sacred orchard. It is important to keep your mindset positive so you can attract infinite prosperity. Be mindful of your unconscious negative mantras that create a mindset of lack and victimhood. Your self-worth determines your wealth, so live in alignment with your divinity. When you set out to intentionally attract your desires, you will flourish with endless opportunities. Know that you are worth, worthy of plentiful joy. So absolutely brilliant to go with the reading. That's what I have, Gemini. So do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.